Now welcome to this walkthrough through the file basicloop.py, which is used for executing exercises and examples over the course of the lessons in, of the course. The nice thing about this, this file basicloop.py uh, is that it prepares you for the actual midterm project as well as for the final project because the basic structure of processing Waymo frames, of opening the various elements and then piping them into various functions is actually the same. The same for the midterm project and the same for the final project. So by paying close attention to the structure which I'm going to show you now also helps you in preparation for these two projects. Let's start right away with the um, with some general imports which we require for the course. Those are the operating system uh, package, the sys package, numpy, math, the OpenCV, this one here. Um, also easy dict, this one is required for setting up a very easy and convenient to use config structure, which we need to parameterize the object detection algorithm and also the tracking algorithm later on. So this one is something which we make uh, use of quite a lot here. Then we um, set the current working directory. And this one here is really interesting because it's the imports for the Waymo open dataset reader, the simple Waymo open dataset reader. This is actually a third party package, which is freely available on GitHub and which does away with several huge imports that are required by the official Waymo release. And it's really convenient and very easy and straightforward to use. And this is why we chose to use this one here instead of the official Waymo open dataset reader. So this is the import for, for the tools which are shipped along with this, with this package here. Then we have some miscellaneous project related imports, for example, for the object detection and also some, some helper tools for loading and saving data. And um, these are tools which you, you do not need to work on, but which we instead created for you to make some steps a little bit more convenient. Sometimes it's also third party applications, which we, which we integrated into the project. So these are all inside the miscellaneous package here. Then we add some exercise directories, um, for example, for lesson one and lesson two. And um, if you pay close attention, you will see that I have chosen to import the solution subdirectory here, which is something which you do not have access to. Um, your code will have starter instead of solution here, but I chose to conduct this, this first walkthrough using the solution uh, import because I want to actually execute some of the exercises to show you how it should look like. And in order to them to, uh, for them to work, I need to, to, uh, to import the solution code here. So you will have starter here and you will have to implement all the exercises and examples step by step. 